folks, here we are. The Phil M. Glampers, Gracie and Bob. As you can see, we're coming into Colt Creek State Park. It's a new campground just outside of Lakeland, Florida. Um, we've already been set up at your run to the store to go pick up a couple of things. Um, this is a new park. In fact, the site that we're parked on, Site 21, has never been used yet. Everything is fresh, new, so there's not much in the way of uh, uh, reviews on this park just yet. So uh, we're pulling in to the, uh, to the nice lady as we speak and, and, and wait for her to give me the official okie dokie. So, yeah, busy with somebody else. Yeah, there we go. Finally got her attention. So we're going to mosey on along. There's a lot of uh, horsey people here. A lot of horse trailers and stuff coming in and out. Must be big for equestrian, I figure. Um, the campsite's going to sit way back. It's a couple miles from the main gate. It just really just kind of meanders around back in here. It's very peaceful, very serene. Um, as you can see by the right, they've been doing some controlled burns back up in here. Uh, a lot of palmettos. Our campsite, a lot of deer tracks on there, uh, which I thought was pretty interesting. Um, they have a, a lake, fishing pier, uh, you can rent canoes and kayaks on it. Um, not much around the area. You kind of have to drive probably about 10, 15 miles or so to get to uh, any of the stores. A couple gas stations down the road, uh, shell stations, stuff like that. A um, little bit early in the, in the game to give you any more information about, uh, you know, facilities going to look around later on today we'll probably do a little bit of a report on that um, but as you can see it's full of trees and a lot of hiking trails equestrian trails bike trails uh, the sites are very level um, didn't even have to do any leveling at all except front to back on it uh, they have the, uh, the pea gravel uh, granite gravel small and it's really really nice another thing that I'll point out later when we get there is that the tent sites are absolutely pristine they are really really nice you walk up to your site and on uh, on a concrete sidewalk um, then it veers off and then they have also the uh, pea gravel not big so you're not laying on rocks all night long but they have a special site set up just for the the uh the tent campers uh and again later on we'll uh, kind of take a look at that and uh we'll take some pictures and some explanations one of the things that i noticed in this in the campsites is that they have several pull-through sites now um, on the corners as it goes around the facilities they have pulls pull through sites which really makes it nice for the um, for those that are probably pulling vehicles and stuff like that and behind it um, off to the right you can see here's one of the facilities here they have canoes you have your kayaks and that's the pond it's supposed to be some pretty good fishing in there from what I have heard uh, they have uh, facilities so that you can go in, weddings, group gatherings, hiking trails down through here, uh, nature trails. Uh, looks really nice. Yep, very enjoyable. Um, yep, here comes somebody biking around. Yep, so wait for him. Don't want to run him over on camera. That's usually embarrassing. But, uh, yep. There's the signs, watch out for gators, don't wander around out in the water. Uh, there's a shock here, here in Florida. 
must be a gator in there somewhere. The only thing that I really didn't care much for, as you can see, is when you come off the paved road right here, it's a dust storm. It is a dust storm in here. Now, some of the sites back up to this road, and you probably will uh, not really want to be on this dirt road in a dust storm uh, as every vehicle goes by. We're going to show you those here. But they stopped the paving when they got down here to the campsite. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to make a quick loop through here and explain things as we go along. Um, here's the back of the road. To the right is the campsites. And you can see that everybody's going to get into a literal dust storm. But when you enter in, they have two places for your dump stations. They're brand new. Nice concrete, nice hoses, waters uh, coming through there. Um, obviously, the road is a dirt road coming in, but uh, but again, they have two dump stations here for uh, you know for leaving. Uh, there's 34 sites all together in here uh, with um, uh, with the tent camping as well. The sites are really deep. They're very, very deep. As you can see, that there is about a 26-foot camper. Plenty of room for parking, fire ring, brand new tables. It's actually real nice. Site 2 is your is a, a pull-through site here with a concrete slab for the, uh, the handicap. Um, you can see how level it is. It is just as flat as can be. Uh, three is on the outer loop here. Not really a fan of it because you're parked beside a, looks like where they dug it out, and that's going to get a little swampy and soupy, um, but a very, very, very deep site. They look like they would hold probably a, a 40 foot travel trailer if you really needed it. Um, you can see there that uh, there's four, but they're all pretty much about the same in depth wise. Uh, they have 30 amp, 50 amp service here, and uh, which which makes it nice. The water hookup, obviously, the dump station. Um, you have the facilities here in the middle, but they they pretty much have everybody spread out. Nobody's really together here in in the sites. Um, so you have site seven here, and it's it is deep. That is. All of them are just really, really nice, graded out nice, plenty of room to spread out with all your toys and everything else. Um, yep, very, very comfortable, very, very comfortable. And there's our campground host there, sitting on a nice concrete slab. Um, here's another pull through site, which is number 12. This is off to your right here. And over here to your left, that is the campgrounds for the tents. Uh, we'll kind of take you on a tour of that a little bit later, uh, maybe on a second video. But we, uh, we continue around, but this is the tent-only site. And you can see that they have the concrete pathways that go up to your site. And then they also have the uh, ground pea gravel. So... Looks like a very, very nice site. Now, we're coming up on uh, 19 to your left, and uh, we're here we are in our Denali light. It's our 26-foot trailer, and when we go by, you can see how deep it is. That's Ours is a 26-foot trailer, but uh, like I said, there's plenty of room. Uh, it's on the inner circle. I always prefer to generally be on the outer circle, but uh, when I looked online, it was one of the better ones to get. Um, the outer loop 2022 20, is right here to your left. Again, they're pretty much all deep. Uh, you're backed up to pine trees, hardwood trees, and a lot of palmettos in here. Uh, 21, I didn't have anybody beside me except that pull through. Um, uh, 
uh, here site 23 again it's a great big huge pull through site it is just it's a monster you you can pull you can put a great big rig in there also 24 is a pull through site to your right here this is 24 is on the inner and uh, as you can see here, that's the pull-through site. Just pull up, empty it, and you're, you're gone. Uh, 25, 26 are really nice sites. Now, when you're up here on site 27, you are backed up to that road that I was telling you. So 27, 28, 29, 30. Uh, Let's see, is that 30? Nope, 31. You're literally backed up, and if that wind is blowing off of the road in any direction, you're going to get nothing but dust off of that road, and 33 is the same way. Um, like I said, it is a dust storm, so...